Okay, welcome everyone back to a new episode of Technique Tuesday. This week we're gonna be looking at how to perform the fantastic good morning exercise with perfect technique. But before we get into the technique itself, let's have a quick look at the anatomy and biomechanics involved first. So with the good morning, we're gonna be targeting primarily the glutes and hamstrings through hip extension as the hips straighten out. There'll also be a strong isometric lumbar extension contraction occurring where the spinal erectors of the lower back contract to keep the spine neutral. And because the bar is placed on the upper back, there's also gonna be an active thoracic extension isometric contraction as well, handled by the spinal erectors of the upper back. So even though the good morning can be thought of as a glute and hamstring movement, it's also gonna target the back quite heavily as well. And as you can see here from the side view, unlike the squat, the good morning creates a much greater lever arm at the hips and for the low back, making it an incredible strengthening exercise for these muscle groups. However, because of the increased torque requirement, you're gonna to wanna to load the movement very light at first until you allow those muscles to strengthen and as you get comfortable with using a full range of motion. I actually think the good morning is one of the most underrated exercises out there because of just how unique it is. Now, the basic movement pattern is gonna target and develop the hamstrings and glutes, similar to how a Romanian deadlift would. However, since the bar is being held up on your back, it's gonna have much more strength carryover to the raw squat. Now, generally I recommend loading the good morning with more moderate weight in the six to 12 rep range as loading too heavily is usually just gonna turn the movement into a squat morning, allowing the knees to bend too much and taking the hamstrings out of the movement. Also, when you're still new to the movement, you're gonna to wanna to load much, much lighter than you would on a squat. And even as you get more advanced, generally you won't be using loads over 40 to 50% of your squat max. And as usual, it's much more important to nail down the technique before you start worrying about loading more heavily. So the initial setup for the good morning is exactly the same as a low bar back squat. You wanna set up the bar in the rack at about armpit height and grip the bar slightly wider than shoulder width. Going too close might cause you to feel shoulder pain or tightness and going too wide is gonna cause you to lose upper back tightness as you lift. Place the bar in the low bar position with the bar resting down on your rear delts. And if you're new to this position, it may feel as though the bar is gonna slide down your back at first. However, if you keep your upper back tight and create a shelf with your rear delts that the bar can sink into, to. It's never gonna fall as long as it's resting there properly. And as you can see in the image here from Mark Ripito's starting strength, a common mistake is to let the bar rest on the hands, putting unnecessary strain on the wrists and elbows. So instead you wanna grip the bar with your hand above the bar, allowing the weight to rest fully on your back. And while it can work, loading the bar in the high bar position up on the upper traps can often cause the bar to shift forward up toward the neck, resulting in a more unsafe bar position. Now at this point with your feet centered underneath the bar, you wanna push your hips forward to stand up with the bar and take three steps back until your feet are even and planted with about a 10 to 15 degree foot flare. You should use a stance that feels comfortable to you just make sure that your feet are at least wider than shoulder width. And at this point, you should be applying even pressure across your entire foot. Your weight shouldn't be shifted too far forward onto your toes or too far back onto your heels. And you want even balanced contact with the ground. And just like the squat, your head should be slightly extended with your eyes gazing straight ahead. Your elbows should be pointing slightly back, not directly under the bar, which can lead to wrist and elbow pain. So now that the lift is set up, we're gonna begin with the bracing, lowering, and lifting phases. So to brace, you wanna take a huge breath deep down into your gut, actively pushing your air out against your belt, if you have one, while intentionally bracing the spinal erectors of your lower back by thinking about maintaining that natural lordotic curvature of the lower back. You also wanna make sure you're keeping your upper back extended by thinking about driving your back up into the bar before you descend. Initiate the eccentric by pushing your hips straight back while keeping your shins as close to vertical as possible. Unlike in a high bar squat where you wanna break at the knees and the hips at the same time, with the good morning, you wanna break at the hips first and then allow a slight bend in the knees as the bar comes down and forward. And you can think of the eccentric exactly the same as a Romanian deadlift where you're moving the hips back as you feel a strong stretch in the hamstrings on the way down. Now, unlike the squat where the bar needs to stay centered over the middle of the foot on the negative, with the good morning, we're allowing the bar to come more forward so that at the bottom position, the bar is more out in front of the toes. Once you lower to the point where if you go any lower, your spine is gonna start to round, you wanna reverse the motion by driving your hips forward while simultaneously driving your back up into the bar. 
Now throughout the concentric, you wanna maintain that same upper back tightness by keeping your shoulder blades retracted and your spine neutral. And exactly how low you go is gonna largely depend on your hamstring flexibility and hip mobility. Some folks can go all the way down to 90 degrees where their torso is parallel with the floor, while others may wanna stop shy of parallel to avoid any lower back rounding. I personally like to cut my range of motion just a bit shy of parallel, especially as I still have a bit of a lower back issue that I'm recovering from. Now I would say the most common error that I see in the good morning is allowing the knees to bend too much, turning the movement into more of a squat type movement. And while some degree of knee bend is fine and you don't want your knees to be fully locked out, if you bend the knees too much, you're gonna seriously reduce the contribution from the hamstrings on the lift. And you wanna remember that the squat isn't a great hamstrings exercise, but the good morning is, as long as you keep a more straight leg. Another really common error is lack of upper body tightness. So if you find the bar sliding down or up on your back as you lift, you're probably not really mashing the barbell into that upper back shelf that's created by your rear delts. And another thing many people struggle with is getting comfortable with the proper good morning depth. And one solution as you learn the lift and get comfortable with the range of motion is to set the barbell up on the safety pins in the squat rack get into position, and then begin the movement with the positive, allowing the pins to set a sort of safety cap on your range of motion. Okay, so guys, that is all that I have for the good morning. I would say it is one of my favorite exercises for the glutes, hamstrings, and for squat assistance. Um, so it is used in the first wave of my new upper lower program. Uh, so if you guys are looking for something to make this all a little bit more actionable, that's a six day per week intermediate to advanced program with every body part being hit three times per week. And you can pick it up or learn more at jeffnippard.com. Um, so that's it for this one, guys. Uh, please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss future Technique Tuesday episodes. And I'm still deciding if I'm gonna do Technique Tuesday every Tuesday moving forward or if I'm gonna do it every other Tuesday. I'm uh, not totally sure about that yet, uh, but the series is back and I'll see you guys all here on a Tuesday.